You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, we've got Hall of Famer, former New York Yankee. I'm a Yankee fan. Goose Gossage absolutely slamming Rob Manford. And man, I can think of a lot of damn reasons to slam Rob Manford. But I got to be honest with you, I kind of disagree with Goose on this one uh, because he is talking about Hall of Famers and PEDs. Now, we've said it before, me and Matrix both, we think Bonds and Clemens should have both been voted into the Hall of Fame because, let's face it, in baseball there has been some kind of performance-enhancing cheating going on for as long as I can remember, and I'm 46 years old, whether it's cork bats, doctoring the balls, hell, stealing signs, banging garbage cans, the list goes on and on. And Clemens and Bonds both were Hall of Fame worthy before anybody even begun sniffing PEDs around them. Uh, but anytime Rob Manford gets slammed, and in this case, Brian Cashman, um, we're gonna we're gonna bring it to you. Hall of Famer Goose Gossage slams Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manford and Yankees GM Brian Cashman in epic epic rant and i mean he did not hold back hall of famer pitcher goose gossage isn't afraid to hold back okay i just said that gossage who had an interview with usa today sports spent 22 seasons in the majors and was part of all eight of baseball's work stoppages until this year's lockout by the way if there's not a deal done by monday the season will be shortened now that is a good reason to bless Rob Manfred Gossage felt the need to blast every part of today's game, including MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred. He says, quote, I hate that mother effer. Gossage told the website, you know how much I hate him? I called the Hall of Fame chair J Jane Forbes Clark before the induction last year and said, Jane, I don't know where you stand with this guy. But I may punch Rob Manford right in the effing nose and splatter his effing nose all over the <laughs> all over his effing face right in the lobby of your hotel. Wow. <laughs> wow, not holding back. Gossage admitted he probably won't go to the Hall of Fame induction this summer because it's his way of protesting the induction of Boston Red Sox legend David Ortiz who tested positive for PED use in 2003 when the league's issues anonymous drug test. News of Ortiz's positive, positive test came in 2009 to the New York Times. Quote, if we start letting guys in that use steroids, you're saying it's okay for our kids to do it when they do it then because the stars did it, Gossett said. That's why Congress got involved in the first place. Because baseball wasn't policing it. We should never let Bonds or Clemens in either. I could not disagree more. Uh, these guys have already been rewarded monetarily. They're laughing all the way to the bank on something that enhanced their performance. Come on, you don't break the greatest record of all time, Hank Aaron 755, having the best years of your career when you're in your 40s. They're all phonies to me. What they really should do is have a... PED era of the wing of the Hall of Fame, if you ask me. Pete, Pete Rose ought to be in, too, by the way. Gossage touched on fighting the urge to throw New York Yankees general manager into a trash can, and he believes Cincinnati Reds legend Pete Rose should be allowed to enter in the Hall of Fame if baseball embraces gambling. Agreed. Gossage also told the website that he wants... Yankees owner Hal Steinbrenner to sell the franchise and said that baseball would be making a huge mistake if they implement, it, implement automatic strike zones with robot umpires. I agree with that. Absolutely. It breaks my heart to see what has happened to this game, Gossage continued. They tore my heart out and cut it up. They ruined the game. I can't even watch a baseball game. Gossage said of Cashman, I was going to pick him up one day in the clubhouse and throw him headfirst into the trash can. 
All you would have seen was his feet, and there's nothing that could have been done about it. God, look, I give Gossage a lot of credit for his passion, okay? Um, like I said, I know for a fact me and Matrix don't agree with him on the PED thing, um, especially with Bonds and Clemens in particular. Um, again, they pretty much had Hall of Fame careers. People forget Bonds won three MVP awards. I mean, before his even second part of his career came around. And if you look at Clemens' numbers in the 80s, they are jaw-dropping. I mean, absolutely jaw-dropping into the early 90s. Now, here's my other thing. Goose, how far back do you want to go? Because steroids has been a thing in sports since the late, what, mid to late 60s maybe? So, exactly when does the steroid begin and end, steroid era begin and end? That's what I kind of start wondering, too, right? Never mind greenies. We're forgetting about that. Um, A lot of high and mightiness when it comes to PEDs and baseball. And I understand some purists bang bang the drum for them not not getting in ever. That's fine. That's your opinion. I disagree with it. Um, Now... Goose, the one thing you missed that has ruined baseball, the damn shift. It's one look, I used to love baseball. I mean, I habitually I, I bet y'all watched I bet y'all watched 150 games a year at least. Braves, Cubs on TV, games of the week, Rangers cuz I'm in Texas and as many Yankee games as I could possibly see. They didn't show much here in Texas, but as many as I could see. And um the shift came along, and to me, the shift has ruined baseball. Um, I think it was Joe Madden who kind of invented the shift, and I absolutely hate it. I hate the way the game is played now, how they've taken emphasis off some of the small ball, stolen bases, sack flies, some of the things that really, you know, kind of the small ball aspect of, of baseball. I don't like how everybody's okay with a guy hitting – 203 as long as he can hit 25 home runs i hate that i miss doubles i miss triples i mean i missed i miss guys playing like wade boggs did okay that was a thing don mattingly is my favorite player of all time it was nothing to see don hit 35 to 45 doubles a year and bat 320 doing it okay that's the tony gwen i miss that aspect of baseball rob manford does need to be hammered for a lot of things moving the all-star game because of bullshit voting rights is the number one reason his ass ought to be fired again you moved it out of predominantly black atlanta to predominantly white denver because you caved to and made a partisan choice a blatant democratic choice you shield for biden because Biden went out there and made a bullshit statement about racism, and you, you caved in. You're the I don't know who's worse. I mean, they're look, are any of the commissioners good? Any of them? Manford, Goodell, Silver? They're all horse shit. He's right, they're horse shit. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Goose Gossage is not holding back. I give him credit for that. I just happen to disagree with him on the one issue of PEDs. Now, I'm not sure why he wants Steinbrenner to uh, sell the Yankees. Uh, Man, somebody come out and hammer the shift. Get it outlawed. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.